So in this question number 57, we have to see which of the following option is not associated with the facilitated transport. Now in the case of the facilitated transport, transport of substances occur across the membrane with the help of proteins. There is involvement of membrane proteins for the transport. Now the different types of the membrane proteins, carrier proteins, they are involved in the transport of different types of compounds. It means these proteins, they are selective in nature. Now along with that, when all the membrane proteins, they are busy in the transport of the compounds. All the proteins which are associated with the membrane, they are equipped, they are busy with the transport of the compounds. The transport, it reaches maximum, means the transport, it shows saturation, right? Now, facilitated diffusion, it is a type of facilitated diffusion is a downhill movement. Here, the transport of substances occur from high concentration to the low concentration area. So, with this much of the knowledge, now we can see which is the option not associated with it. Now, the first one, this is right, selective in nature. Transport saturation when all the membrane proteins, they are equipped in the transport. Then this requirement of the special membrane proteins which can be known as the carrier proteins and it is a downhill movement instead of the uphill. It means this option is not associated with the facilitated diffusion. For this it means the right answer is 3. Now I will be discussing next question that is 58. Now question 58, the process by which organisms with different evolutionary history evolve similar phenotypic adaptations in response to a common environmental challenge is called. That means unrelated organism but they have the similar external characteristics. So this is a typical definition for convergent evolution. So out of these four options, we already have option number one as convergent evolution. Adaptive radiation would have been the speciation starting from a point and which fill up the different geographical habitats. And natural selection of course is a selective force which selects for fitness and that is specifically reproductive fitness. So of course our answer is convergent evolution. So thus it is answer 1. Now let's move on to question 59. Now question 59 is infection of Ascaris usually occurs by. Now you know that Ascaris is a round worm and its infection reaches the human body via contaminated food and water which might be having the embryonated eggs of the Ascaris. Now let us see the options. The first option is eating imperfectly cooked pork. Now this would lead to the infection of the tapeworm that is Tinea solium. Sese fly, this is spreads trypanosoma causing African sleeping sickness. Mosquito bite can spread malaria, filariasis, dengue while in the option 4 it is drinking water containing eggs of Ascaris. So this is our suitable answer and thus the answer is 4. Now let's move on to question number 60. So now question number 60, the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act, it came into the force in the year 1981. So this is a theoretical question and for this the year is 1981. So it means for the question number 60, right answer is 1. So now we will discuss question number 61 here. 